Today, we're gonna be taking a look at Warcraft Rumble. A massive thank you to Blizzard for sponsoring this video. Here we go. Now, I've gotta be completely honest. I actually have not played this yet. I almost never accept a sponsorship from a game without actually playing it first, but I've actually heard a lot of really positive things about the game from people whose opinions I actually really value. And I have very thoroughly enjoyed every Blizzard game that I've played, like, a lot. So when Blizzard offered me early access to be able to show this, guy, this game off to you guys, I knew I had to accept because, like, I'm really excited about it, honestly. Thankfully, you don't have to wait to actually download this game because by the time this video is out, the game should have released globally. So click that link in the description below to download the game for free right now. It's available on iOS and Android. It is a mobile first blizzard quality game that you can play on the go, which is awesome. Okay, it looks like we've got a flying range over there, so I have to attack it with somebody that's not, or that can actually do some range damage against the flying. So I've got this, like, uh, this this crossbow or this ballista or something like that in the back and uh, I've got to protect it and I got to take out their hero it looks like so that's not actually too difficult to do we've got two lanes right here you actually see in the very center it looks like ranged beats air troops air troops beats melee and melee beats ranged okay that's pretty simple and straightforward at least easy to pick up now we got a ranged person going down on the left and so I'm gonna drop this melee person right here that's pretty simple oh and it looks like there's like mana or some crystals building up at the very bottom. So you want to try and, you know, place down troops quickly. Victory! <laughs> okay. <laughs> Level up to the Dark Spear Troll here. Oh, we gotta, we gotta, oh, is that a spell right there? Okay. We did good there. Oh, so this is interesting. So it's not like one map all the time. We'll place, oh, we've got to defend against these guys right here or I'm gonna, I'm just lost. I lost my second match. <laughs> I see that as a complete win here, okay? I love games that are actually challenging. Although anyone that's played probably watched that and uh, just got a little bit sad in their hearts. But we did level up our lightning, our chain lightning. So it's chain lightning. So it's going to hit one of them and bounce off all the others. Okay, that's good to know. Doesn't even matter. They're not spawning chickens. Okay, I destroyed it. Now I can actually place additional people there. Oh, it's like building. You're constructing. This is like Warcraft. Oh, I should drop more more guys. Oh, oh, can I put stuff down right there? I can. Yes. This is awesome. <laughs> that was literally so easy. I am so embarrassed that I lost that the first time. Okay, we got this other mission right here. So this is really interesting. It starts you out in a very... Oh, we've got two different lanes here. You can actually take a look at the two different lanes and choose what you want to do. Dude, every mission is different. I was not expecting this depth immediately off the bat. Will this flying person go over the bridge or will it actually go underneath? The flying person actually... Actually, it looks like it does fly over the bridge, but then it actually go, it follows its lane. Oh, we want to zap all that, like 100%. Okay, that was great. And we need to attack from multiple angles so that we can actually deal with the spider because the spider does splash damage. It looks like it's probably not actually going to matter though for this first match. Okay, that was pretty easy. Now I'm especially embarrassed about losing that second match. <laughs> and we leveled up our Null Brute. Okay, we claim this reward for winning our first three. Choose your first leader. Oh my gosh. But I think I'm going to go with Jaina Proudmore. Increases the level of your spells by three while she's in play. So she doesn't have to be close to him. She's ranged one target. I, th I think that she's going to be pretty solid. So we're going to go with her. Now, for those of you guys that are not familiar with Warcraft, these are actually like Warcraft characters that you already know. But these are like minis that are playing on a board and you complete all these missions and stuff like that okay dude level two already just for unlocking her that is sick okay we just unlocked the grid it is open now i get to choose which ones i actually unlock this is cool i don't know if this is the right strategy or not but i unlocked Jaina, who is in the same family as the harvest golem here there's five different families you have the alliance the horde beast the undead and the black rock and I, I don't know if I'm supposed to have them all th the same. I don't know if that's advantageous or not, but I'm going to try it. Harvest Golem, here we go. Okay, now here's my little collection of minis that I'm using. And these are all the troops that I've discovered. There are a lot more, actually over 65. Okay, we're gonna face off against the Hogger. This is the first one that says it's a hard mission. <laughs> Hogger's patrol looks tough. Crash me on top of the troll to take him out. <laughs> I already forgot who she said to use this on, but I'm doing it right there. And I missed. And that was the wrong decision. <laughs> I can't believe how bad I'm doing. I swear I know how to play video games, people. Okay, well, we're, we're, we're doing this here. Okay, that zap was really good. 
Oh, but they're still in the mine over on the left side. We're going to build up a little bit of a push here. Okay, tons of stuff happening over on the left side. I need to be able to cycle back to the, the chain lightning here, which we're going to drop. It's going to do a lot of damage to pretty much all of them. We still have not gotten rid of that, um, that tower, though. We're thinking here now. This is a good strategy. I think we've got it. We've got that one. Please build the building. Once the buildings are free, then I'm good. Come on, building is done. Now I can place that down there. And we're going to attack right here. We're gonna try and get both of them. Oh, we can place her anywhere. So we're gonna do that. I'm gonna place her on this side so that he only attacks, um, well, from one of the sides. And we do have to defend right here. It looks like we actually don't. Okay, this is so cool. This is legit. Okay, I claim a reward here. Oh, do I get to choose which one? Well, I'm definitely upgrading Jaina. Are you kidding me? Heck yeah. And now we have unlocked Westfall. So this whole area, as you can see, if you're familiar with Warcraft or World of Warcraft, these are familiar areas here. I've dabbled a little bit in both, but I am by no means an expert. I like it all. Oh, but I realized, so these are the two areas with just these two quests that I've gotten. There's even more over here. So this is the single player campaign. There's actually over 70 different missions and I get to unlock PVP and guilds very soon here. Oh, this is insane. Oh, I want my chain lightning. Yes, please. Oh, that chain lightning got a lot of value. That's great. Oh, I don't have those. They're just eating me alive here. Okay, we'll place that. And then does she do ranged to air? She does not do ranged. She can only attack ground units. Let's place this down right here. Do a little bit of splash and summon her. Oh boy. Oh, chain lightning, come on. Can we get this? We do not have very much HP, but I think that we've got this here now. Come on. Yeah, I, I think so. Come a little bit closer, Vulture. Okay, okay, we're good. Wow. Oh, okay, this is this is really cool. The whole solo experience is really enjoyable, honestly. Oh, I've got more coins, so I can actually purchase some more stuff here. We'll go with another alliance person. Okay, we unlocked the footman. I guess we're going full alliance. And to your name, I I feel like I just figured out the tutorial, just completed the tutorial, I guess, and I have already still have so much to learn. You unlock PVP? Yes, I'm so excited. Okay, let's do this. So PVP season one. So this is the specific map for this first season. These are the guard towers. Those are the towers. Okay. And a clean fight. No tricks, no weapons, skills against skill alone. So it looks like there's different modifiers for PVP. So every season's different. Okay, let we got to try this out oh we're just like right off the bat oh okay okay well let's let's uh let's get going here okay there's a good mine right up there you need to gain footing early on so that you can grab those mines okay chain lightning right there so we can hopefully get that mine there's three lanes in this map Three of them. We're fighting over these two mines right here. What is that that they are summoning? That guy looks scary. We're about to find out. Okay. I don't think that, that worked exactly how I was hoping it would, but that's fine. Let's drop this right here and go grab that mine. We are getting the mines and the gold chests. That, I think, is what is the most important here. Okay, so more gold has spawned. We've got gold chests that are coming as well. Oh, I'm, I'm like wasting gold. Dude, that flaming guy just annihilated my miner. That's not good. We've already done a decent amount of damage up against him, actually. So we're doing pretty well. Open up the chest. Yes, two more gold. That's cool. That's great. We're going to build up a push right here. We're going to drop another miner to get the gold when it respawns. We're going to try and take... We might actually just win. Let's let's try it. Oh, I can't drop it on there. I can't drop her. It's okay. It doesn't matter. We, we won either way. That was interesting. Three different lanes that all pass over each other. Oh, you have you change directions of your troops. The, the depth is insane. I have spent a lot of time playing PvP like this in other games. And let me tell you, the strategy that I'm seeing within the first just 50 minutes of gameplay here is on a whole other level already. Hooray! I mean, <laughs> I'm only in bronze, but still. I really like chain lightning a lot. Uh, leveling up Jaina. Gonna keep going with her. Her and Chain Lightning working together. That's fantastic. I'm liking, uh, what's, what is her name here? Safe Pilot. I am liking Safe Pilot a lot. Oh, 200 coins. I've, I've got to get that. So I think I have to win two matches for me to get there. Wow, they've got a lot of people right there. Chain Lightning. 
Oh, but I lost my miner, dang it. Drop him on the gun. Drop him again. We'll drop a melee guy down the middle, try and grab those two chests. Uh, we got a range guy back here to deal with those harpy birds or whatever they are. Okay, we gotta go in the middle, grab the mines. Or the treasure chests. We'll drop a miner guy over here. To try and grab that gold. And then we're going to try and take down this tower once again. Let's see if it works out. Drop the spell. There she goes. Deal some damage. Come on. Nope, not quite. We're building up a really massive push here. Let's drop this. Oh, dude. <laughs> I'm sweating over here. <laughs> it's cool you actually can like progress just by playing a single match. You immediately get some some XP or whatever it is to upgrade your character or your troops. Now I haven't gotten this far yet, but apparently you can upgrade your minis to unlock different like talents or skills or something like that that change the way that you actually play them. And while you also have PvP and all of the quests that you can unlock. There's also weekly dungeons that you can participate in as well as epic raids. And you can play with your friends in competitive or co-op modes or even like join a guild. Now I have two goals right now. I wanna reach 500 so that I can actually get these additional coins and I wanna complete these Westfall quests. So let's jump into another PVP match here. Okay, I've learned from my mistakes here. I put people over on the right side to get rid of their miner, and I dropped my miner over on the left side. I dropped somebody that had a little bit of a range in the middle. She's probably going to die, which I'm just fine with. My goal- oh, but I wasn't fine with my miner dying here. Oh, I'm, I'm doing this thing again here. Come on. Okay, I'm dropping multi-combat range right there. Oh, interesting. So this person on the bridge is attacking. Can he attack when the person goes under the bridge? Oh, it looks like he died before that happened anyway. And we're building up quite a push right here over on the right side. So I'm going to watch it. See what happens. Because we could actually deal with them with uh, our safe pilot or the chain lightning. And maybe even get a win like right now. Oh, dude. Okay, come on, chain lightning. Do a little bit more damage here. Is it going to be enough? It's not going to be enough, most likely. Nope, it was not. Dude, they are spawning just tons of people here. Ten seconds left. Oh, oh, I just barely got it. Oh, okay, okay. Okay, we have completed that first little section, and uh, I guess now we're bronze. <laughs> but we got 200 coins. And now we can unlock some troops. A pacifying spell? Yes, please. Okay, we'll grab that, and we're going to get the the extra uh, experience put right towards it. <laughs> That's so great. I love the polymorph. That is awesome. We'll grab these whelp eggs. Very cool. Unlocked. Leveled up to three. We'll go with spiderlings here. Okay, they are unlocked. Collection level up. So quest XP increases. My quest home increases and new mini bonus. Very cool. Now that I've leveled up some of my minis, this, these next two quests, I mean, they should be pretty easy. We'll drop that right there so we can start doing some mining. Okay. We took over that tower over on the left, so that should be really good. We got chain lightning right here, nice and ready. Perfect. Chain lightning that, of course. Like I said, I probably didn't have to because of my bat girl. Okay, let's place this down. We almost got... Oh, we did get the left tower. It's building up, but they're going to delete it. It's building. As soon as it's done building, we should be good to drop a bunch of troops just like that. We got my secret weapon right here. We're going to drop her right there. Whoa, that was a big chain lightning. Okay, we can chain lightning. Boom. Very nice. Not too difficult. Figuring things out here. Combat experience goes up. Collect the 30 coins. That is enough for another troop. Don't know which one is great. Common dark iron miner. Oh, I just bought him without even looking. But if he can mine, he might be a good one to have. When there's more gold than your cobalt can mine, hire another to mine behind enemy lines. Are you kidding me? I've got plenty of air. I think I'm going to swap. We'll try it. We'll try it out here. Okay, the Dreadnought. Here we go. Oh, you can see where he's dropping stuff. Place this miner right there. He just pops up right there. Dude, it's like instantly. That's awesome. Oh, we're out. We're already dealing damage. Let's grab that chain lightning. Okay, okay. 
Let's chain lightning those three. That was actually really great. Okay. Oh, dude, I am not doing very well, though. Let's try this out. We're going to drop that person right there. Is it too soon? I mean, we're doing some good damage. We've got lots of troops coming up over here. Please tell me we're good. Okay. <laughs> this is this is really cool. This is a really fun like the PVP honestly really chaotic and very exciting. The solo missions though are really fun. It does a really good job at just like making me think about what's going on and like how to try and defeat this, the specific like challenges and stuff. The mechanics are really awesome. Okay, let's claim our reward here. We're going to upgrade our chain lightning because I love using it. We're gonna upgrade our safe pilot here. Gonna upgrade, upgrade, upgrade the Griffin Rider. Oh, and what do we unlock? A new troop. Okay, we've got skeletons, angry chickens, and defias bandits. So, oh, these guys are the shadow guys. Very good. They only cost one gold. Okay, here are the skeletons. Oh, so they're like a spell. Oh, so you can place them whenever, wherever you want to. And you have the angry chickens right here. Dude, the angry chickens are really nasty against single targets. We're going horde, so let's go for it. Or not horde, alliance. But they are unlocked immediately to level four. That is awesome. Also, we've unlocked the darkwood area. And we've unlocked guilds. Yes! The tavern. Request to join. Yes, thank you. I'm sold. This game's awesome. I will be playing more of it. And I'm really glad the game's going global because this is huge. It's an authentic Warcraft game put on mobile. It, the strategy is on another level that like actually makes me think. And I really like that. But I want to know what you guys think about it. So let me know in the comment section and check the description to download the game for free on iOS and Android. Once again, a huge thank you to Blizzard for sponsoring this video. We'll see you guys in the next one.